guys, it's Nancy the Handy Scandy. Thanks for joining me for another crafty venture. Today I'm doing another collaboration with some sweet friends, Marla Harris and Sharon Luska. This is the card, the cards, plural, I'll be making today. And the theme for our collaboration is all about stencils. So I am playing with my gel press. I actually had a <clears throat> excuse me, a day, I think it was last week where I just played with my gel press. I was watching um, Seth Apter and he was playing and I was inspired to join along. So these are some of the pulls that I created during that session. And you can see that the pink, black, gray, and silver are kind of my color scheme going on for these couple of backgrounds and I had a really good time. I know it looks kind of dark, it looks kind of di dingy and <laughs> grungy and I don't know, but I had a great time. And so I'm just using my gel press and acrylic paints instead of inks and I'm using some stencils. The first one is called, oh I thought I used grunge dots on one. The other one was um, the messy dot grid and let me see if I can... No, I'm not going to dig through my stuff right now, but that big dot one, that is a two-part stencil from A Colorful Life Designs, and I can't find it in this moment, but I'll make sure that I have it listed downstairs. But yeah, I had a good time. I don't know what it is about circles and dots, but I really love them. So I was just playing along, and, and like I said, these are my pulls. So these are the the papers that I ended up using for my cards and when you when you use something like this when you use a pull from from your gel plate you essentially just use it as, as background paper you know if you had um, pattern paper you just use it as that and if you want to add layers and stenciling and stamping and whatever else to it you just go to town and you just play like you would with any other paper so I cut this out into slimline using this blanket die from, I think it was from Honeybee. And because my plates are not the extended plates, I have a hard time getting this one to cut out. In the end, I end up cutting those, um, those end frayed pieces, fringy pieces off altogether because I just can't get it to work. So. Anyway, you saw me laying down some ink through a stencil, so I did a little bit of ink blending with the picked raspberry as well as the black soot. And now I'm using, and again, I'm using the same stencils that I did when I did the pull. So this time I'm using that big dot stencil and I use the silver, again, mimicking the colors that are already there, trying to marry it together. And so here I'm using the darker pull, and instead of doing stenciling, I decided to use this background die. And um, I think it's fun. I wish I would have kept all those little hearts. <laughs> but anyway, you can see what I'm doing there. I'm layering up some, just some pink paper to show through the, the hearts. And then I layer up some foam foam as well. And um, while you watch my process here, I want to tell you a little bit about, about our collaboration. So Marla Harris of Mad About Cards and Crafts. First of all, she's amazing. She's an amazing creator. She's a wonderful friend. She's so sweet and kind. And she approached me in December asking if I would like to collaborate with her and Sharon and, um, you know, do, do a collaboration based on our love of stencils. And I said, sure. But then I got sick. And they went ahead and shared their videos, and they were amazing. And they agreed that we would just do our three-way collab later when I was feeling better. So here we are. And I feel like that's so very generous and very supportive. And they both gave me a lot of love in their videos and, and just supported me. And I loved the cards that they made. I can't wait to see what they do this time. I have no idea. We've not shared sneak peeks or anything. So I'm excited to see. <laughs> Back to my card. You can see that I have stamped out these little creepy dolls. <laughs> they are from Whimsy Stamps. They came out during Halloween and I knew I had to have them. They are quite macabre actually. So I am making creepy Valentine cards with my <laughs> creepy little dolls and my pink, black, silver, and gray gel plate pulls. And this isn't for everybody. <laughs> 
it used to not be for me. I can't lie to you, but there's just something going on in my in my style and in the things that I'm interested in and drawn to. This year has just been I don't know, it's been it's been a year full of change as well as trauma and drama like everyone else. And so um, here I pulled out my Arteza Flesh Pack the ever of the Everblend. So I have the Flesh Tone Pack and I have the Gray Pack as well as the original pack. And I don't know how many that is. I want to say it's 120, the original. It's a lot. It's a lot. But even in that, it didn't have a whole lot in terms of skin tone colors and there were only just a few grays. So they filled in that gap by creating two new sets and I now have them. So I'm using that, um, the flesh tone set to color up these other two girls. And I'm trying to be ethnically diverse. You know, I am no expert even in my own culture. We talk about cultural cultural competency in the field of social work. And I'm not even competent in my own culture. So I rely on others to help me learn, help me understand and grow in re regards to their cultures. Because I am no expert and I want to know. I want to learn. So help me learn. <laughs> But I am trying to color these dollies up as though they have different shades of skin than the little pink girl. And um, this one has more like maybe Asian or Hispanic skin tones. And then the next one who's bending over, she has more of the African American, um, maybe a dark Latino little baby doll. So anyway, just trying to be ethnically diverse. Y'all let me know if I was successful or not. I know I, I need to keep practicing <laughs> not only my social work cultural competency, but as well as my artistic cultural competency. So <laughs> you guys are bearing witness to my first real attempt and we'll just keep growing from here. But all in all, I think these dollies, not only are they creepy, but they're adorable in a strange sort of way. What do you think? Are they too creepy for Valentine's? <laughs> All right, so I'm going to be quiet here for a minute. I'll play some music and we can watch this third one get colored. And I apologize that my hand is in the way for, for a lot of this coloring. If you guys have suggestions on how I can show the process and not have my hand cover it up, let me know downstairs. I'll just be quiet and we'll watch for a little bit. So you can see that I have given them all green eyes and it was just for ease of coloring and I've given them all pink shirts and that was to coordinate with the backgrounds that I've created and um, on their heads <laughs> where it looks as though their hair has been pulled out I used I think it was crimson or wine colored marker and I just dotted where the dots are on the image itself and then I used the mid-tone marker to kind of blend it out and that made the skin look irritated <laughs> and, and possibly even bloody as though this, the hair had just been pulled out and a little more lifelike. So here I am just fussy cutting. I'm using my um, little cutty, cutty scissors and I'm just going all around the edges. You see that I'm holding my scissors basically still and I'm turning my image around and that gives you a nice clean cut and also you want to make sure that it's down deep inside the scissor you don't want to be trying to cut with the tips of your scissors that's not going to give you a clean a clean cut at all so there they are all cut out I have the pieces to both cards as you can see and you saw in the beginning the one with the silver big circles is a slim line and so I'm layering that with just a black piece of cardstock and um, 
I think it's really cute. So I use my tape runner. I don't want to give this one a whole lot of, lot of depth. There's a lot of visual dimension already and texture, so I'm not using the fun foam on this part to, to mount up my panels, but I do use some fun foam to mount. Um, there's a little pink strip, and I run it as well as that little heart through my big shot in a embossing folder with like a Swiss dot pattern. So I use the little strip to kind of ground my, my two little characters as well as the bird skeleton on the slimline card. And then I use that heart that I have embossed um, to, to ground the other little girl with, <laughs> with her eyeball falling out. <laughs> Oh, yeah, I'm sorry. It's macabre. <laughs> but again, I didn't use fun foam on the smaller one. I used the pink heart to coordinate with the pink background. And then I used that x fasten tape all around that black frame. And that frame was just in my stash. I thought, hmm, I'll use this to, to frame out my card. And I feel like it kind of brought it all together. And um, I could have easily made it a shaker card, but I did not. And I did not show you the process of me putting that tape on there because that was painful. So, <laughs> yeah, so I didn't want to um, make you sit through that. And so here I have taken the words, my love, and they're from that same um, die set from Honeybee that the blanket slimline die is from. And again, it just says my love, and I cut it out in some silver metallic, not metallic, mirror cardstock and the that is from tonic studios and i use the same sentiment my love on both cards and so they can be for valentine's they can be for whatever you want them for really my love can can be appropriate for for any number of situations or occasions but in this particular case my intention was creepy valentine's <laughs> So there they are glued down and I do the same thing with the My Love on, on the smaller card, on the A2 card. And I use the acrylic blocks to hold them down and I'm pretty much done. I love them, I think they're just creepy cute. So you guys let me know downstairs what your thoughts are. Are these too creepy? Is this right up your alley? Would you like to see more like this from me? <laughs> Make sure you go over and you see Marla and you see Sharon and you look at their videos and you leave them sweet comments and everything. And um, we appreciate you guys so much. And I appreciate them, including me, in their collaboration and waiting on me to be well enough to participate. And I've had a great time. These, <laughs> I've had some odd reactions when I've shared these cards, but I think all in all, they're fun, you know. They're just fun. Again, let me know downstairs what you think. Leave me a comment, a like, subscribe if you're not already a member of my crafty tribe. Same with Marla and Sharon. Consider subscribing there as well. But especially leave a comment downstairs and I'll be talking to you guys soon. Thanks so much. Nancy the Handy Scandy. Talk to you later. Bye-bye.